All right, guys, so today we're with Rich, and he's going to show you guys on his uh, Grand Banks single screw, no thruster. He's going to show you a four bump turn, and uh, in and out of the marine, he's been practicing this for about four days now, so the boat's on tide. A uh, big thing that everybody does is they don't take up all their real estate in back, so he's learned to do that. So let's go ahead and do it, Rich. Now we're going to do a four bump turn out of here uh, from... Uh, um, from my standing position. So go ahead, Rich. Okay, got the wheel straight. Straight. Now, what's the first thing we do? We want to cut the wheel all the way to starboard. Okay, it's because his end goal right now is to put the boat right there and take up all the real estate over there. So it doesn't matter if you have a rudder indicator or not. He just wants that uh, the wheel and some uh, momentum going, and he's actually looking for that post right there. And a lot of things, a lot of mistakes, a lot of people make is they'll try and make this corner too soon. And when you're in a single screw, no thruster, uh, it does make a difference. So I always tell everybody, take all the real estate you can and see like he's doing absolutely perfect right over to that pole right there. And now he'll, he's getting lined up to start his, uh, his uh, four bump turn. So he's going to cut the wheel all the way over to port. So we're a little forward, a little reverse. A little gas, okay, now back to forward. A little gas, now back to reverse one more time. And that gets, that gets us right in the center of the fairway, okay, now back to forward. Because what will happen is if you don't take all your space, you'll end up on these boats over here, and that's not what you want to do. So right now, see he's dead center about of the fairway. And all it was is forward, reverse, forward, reverse, forward, reverse, until he gets the boat right where he wants it. And then uh, he cuts the wheel all the way over to port and then starts those bump turns. So now we'll do a bump turn right here in the turning basin. And he'll turn the boat around almost in its same radius uh, of the boat. And then he'll put it back in the slip and then he's gonna take it over and we're gonna do a little pump out in it. Okay, so now he's gonna just do a bump turn right now. Okay, and then it goes to reverse, reverse, a little bump. See how he's getting that, he's getting that back end to come around. A little forward, a little bit of reverse. Okay, a little forward. A little bit of reverse. And he's getting that front end, he's just working that front end all the way around, just, just almost in the radius, uh, the tightness of the boat. Like I said, he doesn't have the option of using a thruster. Uh, someday he will because we are on the list to get the thruster installed. But look at that, he turned it around inside the basin here without even using the full basin, so that's nice. And then he'll just come over here and he just practices this and practices and practices and practices until it just becomes second nature and he doesn't know any better. So now he's just gonna practice putting it in the slip We got absolutely perfect weather conditions, big guy. It's really nice. Just a small light breeze to keep the sweat off of me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so anyway, you can just see, just, he just did a beautiful job in the turning basin there. And he does get, I mean, you can tell he does get better and better every time. And with, it's gotta be become, uh, I hate to say it's rich, it's gotta become like a uh, muscle, me or, uh, just memory, does that make sense? Like you don't even Can't overthink you think it. it, right. Do what you're taught. So another thing, a mistake people make is they'll try and do this corner too early, but it doesn't really matter. If you use your bump method, he can put that boat anywhere he wants. So go ahead, he's gonna cut the boat all the way over to port. And then he'll just keep bumping it. And if he needs, if he needs uh, to slow the boat down a little more, he needs a little more reverse to stay off that dock right there. See what he's doing right there? And he just got the boat over. Now he's positioning it to put it in the slip and he's doing all of that just by, and he, his wheels cut all the way over to port and he won't start straightening the wheel out until he gets in, into the slip right there and then he'll start straightening. But all he did was just bump forward, bump reverse. Look at that, just absolutely perfect. So again, this is our second time out of the slip. See how he's got to go right over to that dock right there 
And I'm not going to tell him when to do his turn, but I'm going to let you guys know when I would be doing my, when, when I would think. But I would take up all the real estate I can here. And it looks like he's going to hit, but he's not. All right, so now, again, he's cutting the wheel all the way over to port, and then it's just a little forward, then a little reverse. He's bumping those, he's bumping those transmissions and uh, gears right now. A little forward, now one reverse, hit that. And that keeps that rear end over, and then forward. And now he should be straight down the uh, fairway, and he's straightening out his wheel. See that? And he's right down the center of the fairway. What'll happen, then you gotta readjust. If the wind is blowing you into these boats right here, you need to be more prevalent to that side. If the, if the wind's blowing me the opposite way, then I can start that corner. I maybe could get away with like a three bump turn because it's naturally the wind's gonna push me this way. So we were not gonna do a uh, turn out of the basin right here. He's gonna take it over to the um, pump out station and we're gonna do pump out because we've been purposely putting a lot of fresh water in the system. And last time over, we didn't uh, get a good pump out. So we were missing a piece, but we found the piece. Rich, I got good news and bad news. What do you want to hear? The good news only. The good news is you're going to solo this by yourself today. Are you ready for it? <laughs> I thought that was the bad news. No, that's the good news. The bad news is after you get done with that, you can start working on your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like bad and worse news. <laughs> Anyway, you ready to do this, big guy? You've been training for three days. You trained your whole life for this That's for this right. moment. Well, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's see. So, folks, he's going to pull this boat out just just like I was a, a airplane instructor. Uh, he's going to pull it out of the slip himself and put it right back in the slip all by himself. Are right, you ready, big guy? Yes. Go. Let's see if he remembers anything I taught him. May the force be with you. <laughs> Just remember everything you were taught, Rich. So he's completely 100%, no thruster, single screw. And he's going to do his bump turn out of here. So he'll go forward, reverse, forward, reverse to get the front end to come around. Don't do it too soon now. So he's watching where his back is. All right, here we go. Everything he learned. You can see him bump the throttles, a little forward, a little reverse. Boat coming around. And he'll be such a better boater knowing how to do this without that thruster. And if the wind's blowing, you just got to allow for the wind. There he goes. He's out of the slip. Now he's going to go do uh, his turn in the turn basin. We'll walk over there and catch him in the turn basin. Great job, Captain! All right, guys, so now he's gonna do his turn in the turn basin here. Everything that he's been taught. Again, 36 foot grand bank, single screw, no thruster, 100% by himself. I'm not there to tell him when to turn or how to turn, put it in reverse, put it in forward. See, there's his bump right there. He's in reverse. And he should be able to turn this boat around in its own weight, uh, radius. That's what he's been taught. Forward, you can see this forward. You can see the propeller. Reverse. Forward. You can see the water move. Yep, he's doing exactly what he should be doing.
All right, so now he's gonna line up to come back into the slip. He's coming in just nice and slow, right down the center of the fairway, just like he's supposed to be. And he's remembering that the boat Come pivots the right about here. here is where the boat will start pivoting. So that's when he, when he gets lined up with the front of this boat right here, we'll and he's in. on his pivot point. That's when he so wants he's to start got his, his turn. But coming around there, just like he's supposed to. He's just doing his. All right, brother, you're in. So you might think I'm pushing, but this will be his third time on his own. And it's really just letting him get the line of sight, uh, get him really feel for the boat, um, getting him used to those uh, bump bump turns. You know, it's forward, reverse, forward, reverse, and then when to, when to turn that wheel. And we have absolutely perfect ideal conditions, no wind. So, and he just, this time though, the only uh, thing we're gonna add to him is we're gonna see if he can grab his own dock lines so that he doesn't need, uh, so if he was doing this by himself, he's 100% by himself pulling up to the dock and grabbing his dock lines. That's the only uh, new catch we're gonna throw at him this time. And I'll keep repeating myself, guys. He needs to take up all the real estate he can on that on that reverse right there. And he knows that because if he starts that turn too early, he'll be end up in these boats over here. So you can see him right there. He's cutting his wheel all the way to port. Now he just does his bump forward, bump reverse, bump forward. There he goes. He goes forward right there. Now we go back to reverse. Now, as far as an instructor goes, do that a couple what times, I really like to see him do. So he keeps so is, uh, keeps now him I'd like to take him uh, out in uh, his wind, wind state, and so then actually let him do the same room. thing. He's not going to hit anything. Let him get those the the lines job, that he Captain. needs because it's uh, if you know the wind's blowing out of the north, we make a slight adjustment. If it's blowing out of the south, we make a slight adjustment, and then he's got to kind of allow for that as he's doing it. But he's doing his perfect just bump turn right there inside the turn basin. And then we'll walk back over to the slip and watch him put him right, right in the slip. So he's perfectly lined up. I don't want to use the words perfect, but just absolutely perfect job. If he's doing this all Rich, I don't know what else I could teach you. To do this again and again. You can see how I, the repetition, it's just practice, practice, practice. You know so, I mean, this is, you had no help and you're doing this all by yourself. It was absolutely 
And it felt comfortable this time. You know what I mean? And it just gets more and more comfortable every time you do it.